she gave birth to the creator of the world inside of Abraham's seed. Amen. He took on him the seed of Abraham. Now he didn't enter his seed in vain. Many leave out. Many would rather hear about Luke 1 and 31 and 35. But they don't want to hear about Hebrews 2, 16 going along with Luke 1, 31 and 35. Amen. But you have to be able to put the scriptures together. Those that are appointed to go together in order to see the big picture. Mary conceived of the Holy Ghost, but she didn't conceive the seed of the Holy Ghost. She conceived that seed of Abraham with the Holy Ghost overshadowing her and then sitting in her womb that particular seed of Abraham. The Son of God didn't enter a man's seed and, and exit it. He didn't get out of that seed once he took it on. But that seed was used in Mary's conception. That seed was conceived in her womb of her reproductive cell. She gave birth to the Son of God inside of a man's seed. This is the foundation of the gospel, and this is a good gospel. A good gospel worth sharing because God sent his son to redeem the world. This is how salvation is available to you on today. Amen. Because God sent his son to become one of us in order to redeem them. And in sending him, he died for our forefathers' sins. He died on that cross. They whipped and beat him all night long. Amen. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They nailed him to a cross. He went all that bleeding and all that spitting on him and lying on him and persecuting him, mistreating him, misbeating him, calling him a devil. He went through all this for us. Amen. But he died on that cross for our forefathers' sins under the Old Testament. Amen. He didn't die for our sins. Christ didn't die for our sins. He didn't die for the sins under the New Testament. For there was no New Testament before he gave his life. No New Testament existed before Christ died on that cross. Amen. But in his death, he died for our forefathers' sins. He took away that first standing testament and covenant. And after his death, he gave blood to flow from his side for a new testament. This testament being his own rule and testament to man. And in this testament, he says, you must be born again. He says, you must be born of the water and the spirit. Now, this is the new testament that came of force at his death. That he gave it in his own blood that flowed after his death. And then this New Testament lets us know that the kingdom of heaven has come. So Christ, he's no longer there. He's not buried in that tomb. Nor is his spirit down in hell. He rose three days later after his death. With all power in his hand. Now is his testament, the new testament of force. And when it's yet a force even today, the kingdom of heaven is come. And when it was near, the kingdom was near as long as Christ had went to that cross. But now is the kingdom come because Christ has rose from the dead. And when we take a look at the scene that he took on in the coming of man, we can look at his resurrection from the dead. That flesh that he entered, it rose from the from the rain. Amen. As long as any mortality to never taste death again. Now this is the hope that we have in Christ. Amen. In Christ. You have to be in Christ to have this hope. Amen. In order to hold on and see this hope, you have to be in Christ. You must be born again. Amen. For he has given us a great hope in him. Now one day, our bodies too shall rise from the grave. 
and take all immortality as his body. Amen. 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 We even have hope today of his testament, the new testament and the new covenant. See, the old covenant of the old testament, it didn't empower men to keep their own babies. But the new testament and its covenant, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost gives the born again believer power to live home. Amen. No longer do men have an excuse to obtain the line of real right. The Holy Ghost. You have to have faith in the Holy Ghost to keep you. Amen. He says, The day you hear my voice to harm not your heart. But you yet have a choice about which way, which way do you want that in? Which way do you want to go? Amen. We can't be used if we don't obey him. We can't be used if we will not hear his words. And in hearing his words, he not only wants you to hear him, but the Holy Ghost wants you to obey him. This is the new covenant of the New Testament. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is a keeper. But you have to want to be kept. And I thank God for the way that He's given to us on today. God bless all the hearers and the doers of His word. Amen.